Talk about a space that's empty but full of potential. This is what the new Biotech and Beyond incubator looked like two weeks ago, before lab benches were moved in. The website calls it a hybrid, part science educator, part biotech startup accelerator. Joseph Jackson, one of the co-founders, showed us round as the equipment was arriving. Through here we have the tissue culture room, which is not quite set up. We have multiple objectives. Um, I like to talk in terms of sort of democratizing science, but also demystifying it and even domesticating biology, if you will. Jackson has a vision to create a space where trained scientists can conduct their own private research and ordinary citizens can come to learn about molecular biology and how to conduct experiments. He convinced the city of Carlsbad it would be an investment to lease this building to the incubator for a dollar a year. It was vacant for more than a decade, so a dollar was really more than we were getting in the past. Christina Vincent, Economic Development Director for the City of Carlsbad, says the venture fits well into Carlsbad's identity as a biotech hub. What some people may not know is that for the region, we have actually 24% of the region's life sciences jobs right here in Carlsbad, which equates to over 120 businesses locally. At this point, Biotech and Beyond is just the seed of an idea beginning to take root here in Carlsbad. But it has the potential to become a powerful job creator by changing the model of the way that science is funded. Perfect. I think everyone understands that the old model is, is collapsing, right? Whether in the pharmaceutical industry, they're calling it Pharmageddon, um, referring to the kind of crisis in productivity of, of R&D, where there have been no new drugs discovered to fill the pipeline uh, for Big Pharma, and they've been laying off uh, their workforce right and left. So the traditional career paths are no longer there. Jackson says it costs a billion dollars and well over a decade to bring a new drug to market under the current system. Graduate student Leah Cannon says it's about finding more cost-effective ways to foster future innovation. She believes even citizen scientists could play a role. People still uh, don't understand and are probably a little bit intimidated by the whole concept of things like DNA and RNA and proteins. How do our cells actually work? How do you actually do experiments? But the funny thing is, when you're on the inside as a scientist, it's actually really pretty simple. And there's a lot of things you can do to find out some really important information with some really simple experiments. So we just want to teach people how to do that. The idea is to create a fertile mix of citizen scientists with seasoned researchers. Seasoned scientists are already showing an interest in using the lab for their own private research because any discoveries done in an employer's lab automatically belongs to the employer. Katerina Bobkova says she's had many years of experience with companies like DuPont and Merck, but she's now launching her own company. We are a small molecule drug discovery company. We are currently concentrating on anti-cancer drug discovery and development. Babkova says research lab space can cost thousands of dollars a month, whereas here it'll cost a few hundred to rent a bench for a month. Oh, it's absolutely important for a very early startups like us. When you do need uh, a, a lab space, an affordable lab space, and you want to be in the company of other people, uh, with professional background like your own. The biggest challenge for this startup incubator will be to raise the financial support to become self-sustaining. But the cost of doing things like mapping a human genome is falling fast. Co-founder Kevin Lustig, a Harvard graduate with two science-related companies of his own already, is excited about who will show up to use the lab space. There are probably, in this area alone, hundreds of people, if not thousands, who have a tremendous amount of talent. They could be the next Einstein for all we know, but because of the fact that they were born into a certain situation, they needed to get a job because they started their family early, they never got the opportunity to get that training and, and to interact with like-minded people. And so we're trying to lower the barrier to innovation so those people come in the door and we can help identify those people that can really help us solve the problems that we face together. The city of Carlsbad has set ambitious goals for biotech and beyond to grow membership to 50 people in the first year and launch eight startups in the first two years. Allison St. John, KPBS News.